Life is a hurdle race. You get out and you've got so much potential. And you're driving, and you're moving quickly, and there's an obstacle. You gotta attack it, you have to go after it. And then once you get done with that one, there's gonna be another obstacle. And it's gonna keep going like that. The finish line is when we get into our box and sleep. <laughs> My name is Oluwatoyin, which means the Lord deserves praise. I was born in Nigeria to Nigerian parents, and we immigrated to the U.S. when I was about two, and they tried to motivate us to be very hardworking, to never give up. It's like character building. When you're in training and you're going hard, and you have to keep going hard when your body's like, stop, you recognize that the best of the best athletes are a little bit crazy. Honestly, I say that with all honesty, because you have to tell yourself, okay, my body sort of feels like it's dying, but you're not dying. Because I was like, I don't know how I'm feeling delirious, I'm lightheaded, like, and you just grinding it out. And then you know what? You're back there next week. But you know what I'm thinking? I gotta do it better than I did it last week. A little bit of crazy. Yeah, a lot of bit of crazy. <laughs> I love competing. I really do. I love competing. I love it when we go fast. I love feeling like I've improved. And that makes the grind worth it. The physical challenge, for me, I can grind it out. I'm a hard worker. I can work hard. But when your mind starts telling you things that you don't want to hear, it's hard to shut it up. You know? Track and field is challenging physically, mentally. When you don't do as well as you want to do, it's a challenge trying to get back up. And sometimes it's all in the getting back up. I'd made all these bad choices. I got my car repossessed. I like couldn't pay my rent. So it was really hard for me to be in a situation where I just knew everything would work out and just have things sort of like fall apart and feel so embarrassed. And I just felt like I had failed and that there was no options. And I just had to quit at this point. I was like, quitting is not supposed to be an option. I just remember being like on my knees and calling my mom. And she was just like, she said, pray. It's so easy to get afraid and be like, okay, let me just go back into my comfort zone because this is a better place, you know? It's like, no, like be fearless, be courageous, go out and do those things um, that really scare you. Scare yourself on a regular basis because it will help you. To me, competing in athletics, in track and field in particular, is an opportunity to have a platform and to excel so that I'll be able to influence others and be an example to other people in how to really live their life intentionally and be very positive and a good citizen of this world.